All right, we're on the start of another adventure. First stop, JK Bakery in Canmore. We love this little place. And this is the giant pretzel. I don't know if you can see, but like how soft this is. Anyways, we got a fun adventure for this weekend. We are hitting up the Icefields Parkway, which is the road between Banff and Jasper. And we are for the first time ever doing first come first serve camping. So we actually don't have anything booked. Uh, we have a list of campgrounds along the road um, that, yeah, if you get there and there's a spot open, you're allowed to take it. Um, let's hope for the best because, or else we'll be sleeping in the truck on the side of the road tonight. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, for anyone who doesn't know, the Icefields Parkway is this giant road between Banff and Jasper. Along the way, there are tons of like sightseeing, campsites, hikes, waterfalls, like this pamphlet actually shows it all, which you get at the um, Park Pass info booth once you get onto the Parkway Road. It is, like how long is it like, do you know? Um, I don't know off the top of my head, but it's a good couple hundred kilometers. Oh yeah, kilometers from Jasper, okay, so it's like 233 kilometers. So we're seeing online, it's just like one of the most scenic highway drives in the world. Yeah. I believe it. It's beautiful. Um, but there's no gas stations, you don't have any cell service, nothing. So you're disconnected and you better come prepared when you're driving it. Um, I believe we've had family go through it before and they like do a lot of the stops and it took over 12 hours. Yeah, you, you could like squeeze it all in one day, but you wouldn't be able to do all the stops. Yeah, so we are actually camping it. If we find a spot, um, we're just going to start like ducking in and out to s at the campsites and see where we'll get one they're all first come first serve uh, so we'll see and then wherever we have our base camp then we'll do like little day hikes around explore the area um, honestly Luke and I have lived here for however long and have never camped this area so I've been here at least four years <laughs> at least Luke's been here at least four years least. I've been here at least at least four years at least third no at least 30 years almost yeah. 31 years that I've lived in Alberta and we've not camped here. So this is pretty exciting. And I, th I think it's gonna be uh, some pretty pretty tip top camping sites that we can find. Tip top. Tip top. Top, top shelf. Top shelf. Top shelf camping. You know, like top shelf where all the, the good liquor goes. Oh my God. Oh, a little bear. I can't really see it, but that little black dot right there. That's cute. Alright, we saw wildlife. Considered a success already. Big one. We'll see what other wildlife we have. And this is why they legit say bear country. Pack yeah. in your shit. Yeah. Don't be uh, leaving coolers or frying pans or your stoves out. Especially in this area, to be fair, we never really have this problem like in the town campsites. Yeah. But. Uh, when you're out here and it's a little more rustic, I believe it, that they can wander into your site and be attracted to the smell. This is amazing. We're at Bow Lake, just past Mosquito Campground, starting from the Banff side of the Icefields Parkway. This video doesn't do it justice on how this like blue turquoise lake looks. This is just like one of those off the highway pull over and come down. There's like a di little day beach area it looks like. People are have uh, kayaks and things. This would not be a bad way to spend an afternoon. I wonder if there's any fish in here. All right, all of our searching has paid off. We found a great spot on public land, which means we didn't have to pay for it and it's essentially right on this river stream. I'm actually not sure which one it is. I think it feeds down into Abraham Lake though. And look at the view. We've got privacy. We're gonna set up our tent right over here. There is some other campers just behind those trees, but you can barely even see them. And I'm excited. So this is kind of the road we had to 
take to get down here, um, off-roading it from the highway, which was not so bad. Like Luke said, he was in eco mode in the truck for most of it, bumped it into uh, normal mode at the end there. sure that I'm going to want to leave this spot. We were thinking about going to a different first come first serve on the parkway tomorrow, but uh, maybe we'll just stick to this and do some day trips out because look at this. Literally our own little beach spot. You happy Luke? Yep, good. This works. And I think this little Luna has gotten a little anxious, is ready to make herself at home. that's it tent is all set up our mattress is set up sleeping bag Luke and I are picky we bring our own pillows Luna's bed usually goes right on the side here a little extra space for duffel bags and we're good to go I don't think that took too long probably about 20 minutes 30 minutes and look at the background Amazing. Can't wait to have breakfast in those two chairs looking at that view. And then we got burgers frying up over here. We couldn't wait to get the fire started, so we decided to make them here. Lots of cheese. Buns are prepped. Cherry season. Need to add that to our dinner. Look at this cuteness. Who hasn't eaten in like a day? Hi, Luna. Hi. know what time it is. Coffee time. We've got Starbucks Instant Blonde Rose. We just boiled up some water. Thank you. Such a nice view. We had our little camp stove set up on the ground today because we're packing up. And it doesn't get much better than that. We've got some sticky rice on the stove still for breakfast. And we picked up these little international delights. You don't need to fridge them. They came in like a box of 25 for I think like $5. So that's kind of a nice treat. Usually we're bringing this like container of creamer. Yeah, sampling this. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> sampling this for backcountry stuff. It's like an ice cream mix. Yeah, let's see if it's actually good. All mixed up. Give her a go. <laughs> like, it's coffee, but it's definitely instant coffee. 
am not that good. <laughs> like, I don't even know if I'm going to pack this into the back country. May, may not be worth it. May not be worth it. Might have to figure out an alternative. Yeah, yeah. this isn't worth it at this point. I'm not going to be up a mountain sipping a very, probably the worst coffee you can drink. <laughs> Doesn't sound very appealing. All right. Well, we tried. Let's see what we got over here. A wild Luna. And one of my favorites, camping meals, which I'm sure you don't see very often. This is what we call donte. It's sticky rice wrapped in, I think it's a banana leaf. And inside has like meat, um, sometimes an egg yolk, um, mushrooms, all the good stuff. And it's so good for camping because literally all of the um, leaves and everything, it contains it all and easy to throw out or compost. It's a little bit heavy, but worth it. Breakfast. Again, so easy. How does it look? Sticky. Sticky, not stinky? Sticky. Sticky. Alright, what's the plan today? Um, we're going to try and get a site on the Iceville Parkway this Sunday and hopefully people are leaving. Wow. Might just drive home. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> see if we can get a site. Our goal is to try and get one at what they call the Icefield Tenting Sites. Um, because apparently the views are really nice, great uh, campground. Again, it's all first come, first serve. So we'll have to see if we get there. It's um, We're currently in the Nordic area because yesterday we did not end up getting a spot on the Icefields Parkway. We checked four different campgrounds along there. And then there was one called the Thompson Provincial Campground that actually did have openings, but it wasn't that nice of views like it was treated in private and that kind of thing but we were kind of convinced that if we went a little further we could find Crownland um, with nice views and it actually would be free so we succeeded as we showed earlier our campsite right on the river didn't pay a penny had to find our own firewood and just like get some deadfall but you know what totally worth it so hopefully once we make our way back, we'll actually have some success today. But we're willing to, uh, you know, go with the flow. Fee free spirit. You can't be, can't be uptight about it. Can't be type A, which I am. You know how hard it is to not plan these types of trips and have accommodations for the night? Yeah. I was ready to sleep in the back of the truck and have to poop in a bush. <laughs> not my idea, but if it came to it. I might have.